Hold you through all the years You've been great physician When sickness lingers near Through the stress and moments Your name is known as sweet You've become comforter to me You are That's who you are to me, comforter, a name that feeds so perfectly, peace that passes all understanding, comforter is who you are. who you are and to the grieving family who we for love was gone the pain of separation consumes another home but on the wave of sorrow we walk with perfect is whom the whole world needs. You are comforter. That's who you are to me. Oh, comforter. A name that beats so perfectly. Oh, peace of past is all on the Say you are comforter. That's who you are to us. Comforter, a name that fits so perfectly. Peace the past is all. with me this evening all the way from Christ Embassy. Please welcome Bucci, the reggae man. Please a round of applause for Bucci. Bible in my left hand, microphone in my right. I'm declaring the counsel of the Almighty One. I bring you good news where you cannot refuse. It is well, it is well, it is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my 
and it shall be well indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, next please welcome with us this evening, Alaba, as we worship the Almighty God. Hallelujah. It is well, Pastor. It is well.
evening abide with me fast falls the even tide thank you hallelujah Psalms, and I'd like to invite a psalmist 
an international and also a Nigerian gospel artist. A gentleman, Pastor Mrs. Ibidrum Igodalo, would love to be here. And he is Sami Oposu. It is well 
Jesus' name we have worshipped. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me a very special band, very close to the family's heart. Please welcome with me the Vintage Band. Thank you. All we have to do is give God thanks because he said in all things, not in some things. Uh, so we're here to give God thanks uh, for the times of our dear mother. An angel. So in the mood of thanksgiving, I would just like us to worship God with the songs. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never, sing like never.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Vintage Band. Someone also very, very special to us, to the family. Please, ladies and gentlemen, very close to our heart, please welcome with us this evening, Efe Nathan, our one and only Efe. Please, a round of applause. Thank you. You're welcome. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are God all by yourself. You are God alone. There's no questioning, oh God. And we'll raise our hands and to worship you. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. Oh, yes, Jesus. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument, oh God. You are God all by yourself. And so we worship you, God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument, oh God. You are God all by yourself. You are God, you are God, you are God from beginning to the end, oh God. There's no place for Hallelujah, you are God all by yourself. <laughs> all our topics, all our battles, all our topics, all our Oh, fire 
this evening we're just worshiping and blessing his holy name we thank god for his goodness we thank god for his mercy 
We thank God for what the Almighty God indeed has done for us. We are indeed very, very grateful. Very grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, next, please welcome with me this evening one of the favorite saxophonists of this family. Please welcome with me Bolaji Sax. Bolaji Sax. A round of applause, please.
celebrate Jesus, put your hands together for the almighty God. Father, we thank you indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just praising and worshiping our God. And it is our prayer that indeed the Lord will comfort the entire family. I'd like to acknowledge all the family members that we are all praying for you. We pray that the almighty God will comfort you all. Pastor Itwa Igodalo, Keke and Zenan, the Lord will comfort you. We remember our mother, Mrs. Igodalo's mother, Mrs. Monilola Ajayi. We celebrate you this evening. We pray that the hand of God shall be upon you in the name of Jesus. Sister Neka, we acknowledge you. Dion, the hand of God shall be upon you and your children. Dari, the hand of God shall be upon you and your children in the name of Jesus. Tonya, we acknowledge you this evening. Adokie, we thank you. The Lord will be with you. And also Tyre, the hand of God shall be upon you. The Lord will comfort you all. And to all the Igodalo family, Auntie Tolu, the Lord will comfort you. Pastor Asirime, the Lord will comfort you. The hand of God shall be upon you. And Tifenwa, the hand of God shall be upon you in the name of Jesus. Jimmy, the hand of God shall be upon you. Fera Wale, the Lord will comfort you all. Fiola, the Lord will comfort you. And you the hand of God shall be upon you. Ayomide, Adi, Fife, Reolua, Aki, Lolu, and Iyabo. The hand of God shall be upon you all. We want you to know in Trinity House that we truly love you. We will never stop praying for you. The Lord will be there with you. He will uphold you at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are celebrating in life a woman of God that truly, truly loves God from the depth of our soul. And this is what she would have wished that we do in honor of the Almighty God. The Almighty God that we cannot question. Kabiosi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me this evening as I welcome the Trinity Voices to celebrate Jesus with us. And we have a special guest that will be announcing to you shortly. Praise the Lord. We ask this evening, please, let's make welcome Keke Igodalo. Come on, let's celebrate. Thank you. 
come and celebrate Jesus. Can we put our hands together for KK and Zena? They, they are giving God glory for what he has done. The man that cannot lie, the one that cannot be put to shame, the unfailing God, the unfailing God, the unfailing God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Great is your mercy towards me. Your love and kindness towards me. You've been the mercy.
to the pain I've learned to depend upon His word. My hope is built on nothing else than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I can do I cannot trust oh, yeah, yeah. the sweetest rain, but only on Jesus' name, on Christ the soul, he brought Wisdom. So daily as I live 
and as often as I breathe, so let my whole life be expressions of your grace. The Beatles life was the testament of everyone's written and spoken word, be as this truth. We stand here as a church to speak the same words. Sing, baby, as I live, and as often as I breathe, just let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Somebody help me cry out, so I cry out the Father.
for your body what you shall put on. Is not life more than meat and the body more than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add a cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which to today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more, <clears throat> shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. Tonight, this evening of hymns and psalms to the Lord Almighty for the life of our sister, our friend, our pastor, I just wanted to charge us. What kind of life are we living? Are you living a life that truly matters? Are you living a life that truly matters? Pastor Ebido may have just lived 39 years, but I can testify that she lived a life that truly mattered. Many people have testified of the kind of person that she was. A true daughter of Zion, who loved the Lord with all of her heart, and she served the Lord with all of her heart. Ibidoni will say, Every, anything, anything for my Baba, anything for my God, she was ready to go the extra mile to do anything for God. Is that your own testimony? You know, it just brings it very close to people like me. I don't know about you, but you know, it, it just brings it very close that we are all just sojourners. Our lives is in the hands of God and he can take it at any time that he wants. Nobody in their wildest dreams could have thought Ibido would go at a time like this. What we were planning was for her 40th birthday, not to be here singing psalms and, pray, um, and, and, and hymns to bid Ibido bye-bye on a journey of no return. That's not what we were planning for. We were planning to celebrate her 40th birthday. But look at where we are today. We are saying bye-bye to a daughter of Zion who has done well. She has done well. She has run her race, and she ran the race very well. My question to you today is, how are you running that race? How are you running your race? Are you choosing to live a life that truly matters? How many people will miss you when you go? Will God miss you? when you go? Will God miss you when you go? If God calls you home today, what will be the testimony? Like in the, in the Bible passage that we just read, verse 33 of that passage just said, 
seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added. Most of us are doing it the opposite way around. We are seeking all the other things and, and then leaving the kingdom of God, which God has charged us to actually seek. Are you seeking the kingdom of God? This evening, one of the things I wanted to do was to read to you a poem that I've had on my, um, on my board in the office for a very long time. And from time to time, I read that poem because it really challenges me. The poem was written by a man called Michael Josephson, and he titled it, A Life That Matters. It says, ready or not, someday it will come to an end. There will be no more sunrises. There will be no more minutes, no more hours or days. All the things that you have collected, whether treasured or forgotten, will pass to somebody else. Your wealth, fame, temporal power will shrivel to irrelevance. It will not matter what you owned or what you are owed. Your grudges, resentments, frustrations, and jealousies will finally disappear. So too your hopes, ambitions, plans, and to-do lists will expire. The wins and losses that once seemed so important will fade away. It will not matter whether you are beautiful or brilliant. Even your gender and skin color will be irrelevant. So the question is, what will matter? How will the value of your days be measured? And he says, what will matter is not what you bought, but what you built. What will matter is not what you got, but what you gave. What will matter is not what you have learned, but what you taught. What will matter is not every act of, sorry, what will matter is every act, act of integrity, compassion, courage, or sacrifice that enriched, empowered, or encouraged others. What will matter is not your competence, but your character. Not how many people you knew, but how many will feel a lasting loss when you are gone. What will matter is not your memories, but the memories that live in those who loved you. And what will matter is how long you will be remembered by whom and for what. Living a life that matters doesn't happen by accident. It is not a matter of circumstance, but of choice. My charge to you this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is to choose a life that truly matters, just like our sister Ibidoni did. It has been said of how the internet and the social media and everywhere went gaga. I mean, she broke all the records on Sunday and Monday. She was trending all over the place, and it was testimonies galore of how she impacted lives how she took, you know, the situations in her life, some of the difficult things that she was going through, and she turned it around for good. And she's impacting lives today, and it will keep impacting lives even after, long after she has gone. People will still remember her by the things that she did. So the question is, when you are gone, when I am gone, what will people remember us by? When you are gone, when I am gone, what will people remember us by? Choose a life that really matters. Let us concentrate on the things that really matter. We spend so much time running after things that are ephemeral, the things that will disappear, the things that don't matter. They are just temporal. When, when you close your eyes, you will leave all those things behind and you will be in front of your maker in a split second, in the twinkle of an eye, just like it happened to our sister. The question is, will the Lord say, welcome, good and faithful servant?
Pastor Itua, I want to encourage you because, like I said, I know that my sister and my friend and my aburo ran a good race. And that is the only thing that comforts me. That comforts me a lot. Because when I look around, I see how she has impacted lives all around us. I see timeless women. I see all the things that she has done. In that very few number of years that she has been around, people, and it's true, people say it's not necessarily how long, but how well. Some people will live a hundred years and go on, and they just go and nobody will remember them. But she has lived 39 short years and everybody is talking about her. Pastor, the Lord will comfort you. The Lord will comfort you. He will comfort Keke. He will comfort Zena. He will comfort all the family. And he told you the Lord will comfort you. The Lord will comfort Mama Jai and all her siblings in the name of Jesus. So I don't want us to lose hope and mourn like those who don't have hope. Because we have a hope that on resurrection morning, we will still see ourselves again. So we cannot be mourning like, you know, people who don't have hope because we have a hope of resurrection because she died in the Lord. So Pastor, please take heart. Take heart. The Lord is your shepherd. You will not want any good thing in the name of Jesus. He will make you to lie down in green pastures. You will lie down in green pastures. He will restore your soul. Everything that you have lost, the Lord will restore in fold, seven fold, hundred fold, in the name of Jesus. Please be encouraged. And my, and my brethren, I want us to think very carefully today as we reflect on these things, that are we really living a life that truly matters? And my prayer for us today is that we will really live a life that matters and that at the end, the Lord, when we see the Lord, who is our maker, he will say unto each and every one of us that is hearing me today, Welcome, good and faithful servant. Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we want to thank you. We thank you for your word. Because your word is true. Your word is life. Father, we thank you for the life of your daughter. We thank you for all those whom she has left behind. My Father, my God, I pray for your comfort by the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus that you will comfort all of us in the name of Jesus. That, Father, the legacy she has left behind, Father Lord, that you will give us the grace, Lord, to continue them and even take them to higher heights in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the family, Lord, that you will be with them, you will uphold them, you will strengthen them out of Zion, O oh God. You will fill every gap for them. For the children, you will be their mother. For Pastor Itwa, you will surround him with your love in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be no gap, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, for your church, O oh God, we pray, Lord, that you will comfort us, O oh God, and you will restore unto us, Lord, the joy of our salvation in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for that which you will do, and we want to commit all the plans, O oh God, for the funeral into your hands, O oh God, that you will take control in the name of Jesus that at the end of it all, Father, your name and your name alone will be glorified. Give us beauty for ashes, O God, and give us a garment of praise, Father, for our mourning in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. We thank God for the success of this service. Night of Him for our pastor, mother, and sister. Pastor Ibidumi, Large Moke, Ibidumi. We thank God. We want to encourage people to join us on Friday online on the social media handle of the church. Friday, 5 p.m. and on Saturday, 2 p.m. for different service to celebrate the life of our pastor, Mrs. And then on Sunday, we are going to have a Thanksgiving service, 9 a.m. Join us online to celebrate the life of the general that are going to be with us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. All the glory belongs to you.
thank you for you are the one that we say yes and no man can say no. We thank you for this service. We thank you for other services that will take place. We thank you for people that you have used. All the glory belongs to you. Father, as we go tonight, we pray that you go with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, Father, you will comfort our senior pastor, Pastor Ifa, and his family. You will comfort the family of our grandma, the Ajayi's family. You will comfort the, the church, Trinity House, throughout the whole world. Father, you will comfort us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything. Blessed be thy name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Uh, I will call on the senior pastor of Covenant Abbess Church. Please, let's just hold on. He's going to blow uh, the trumpet. The trumpet of celebration. Uh, will be lived strongly. And that's what the Lord has promised us. That we will still see again. We will not sorrow like the unbelievers. God bless you. We are blowing the trumpet of celebration of life. We are also blowing the trumpet of healing and comfort. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Can we all stand up to share the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you all. We want to thank all the band that came for this event. Thank you very much. God bless.